Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In previous tutorial, we have completed installation setup and data pre-processing. In this tutorial, we will build our model that is LSTM. Let us begin. First, we have to define an object. Define an object. So basically, we are initializing RNN here. Initializing RNN. Now define object. Name of the object is model tf dot keras dot models dot sequential. Execute. So we have defined this object of this class sequential. After defining the model, we have to add LSTM layer. First LSTM layer. To do that, type model dot add method tf dot keras dot layers dot LSTM. LSTM layer will be used to understand the relationship between different elements of a sequence. In this layer, we have to specify different parameters. Let us specify units first. Units is equal to 128. Then we have to specify activation function. Now note down here. By default, activation function is equal to 10H. But we will use activation function is equal to ReLU type activation is equal to relu after that we will specify return underscore sequences by default return sequences is equal to false but we will specify return sequences is equal to true type return sequences is equal to true great let us understand about return sequences we want this LSTM layer to return sequences. If we were going to add a dense layer after this layer, LSTM layer, then we wouldn't want to return sequences because dense layer will not understand that. But here we are adding one more LSTM layer after this LSTM layer. That's why we are specifying return sequences is equal to true. And at the end, we have to specify one more parameter. Input shape. Input underscore shape. Scroll up. We will specify input shape is equal to 28 by 28. This one. These are the number of labels. So ignore that. Now scroll down. 28, 28. Great. After adding first LSTM layer, we will add dropout layer. To add dropout layer, type model dot add method tf dot keras dot layers dot dropout. We will specify dropout neuron percentage is equal to 20% that is 0 0.2 dropout layer is a regularization technique this will avoid overfitting after that add one more lstm layer to do that copy this paste second lstm layer let us verify the parameters Number of units is equal to 128, same, activation function is also same, that is ReLU. Then delete this parameter, return sequences, and this one also, input shape. Now note down here, in second LSTM layer, we are not specifying return underscore sequences is equal to true. This is because we are not adding one more LSTM layer after this layer. After the second LSTM layer, we will add dense layer. So we don't have to specify return sequences. 
now add a fully connected layer this is our first dense layer model dot add tf dot keras dot layers dot dense here we will specify only two parameters units and activation function specify units is equal to 32 and activation function is equal to relu great after that specify dropout layer copy this paste same percentage of dropout neurons 20% after first dense layer add output layer model dot add tf dot keras dot layers dot dense in the output layer we will specify two parameters number of units and activation function first specify number of units units is equal to 10 there will be 10 classes in the output that's why we are specifying number of units is equal to 10 then specify activation function for the binary output we specify activation function as sigmoid but here we will have multiple outputs hence specify activation function is equal to softmax that's it now execute great now check the model summary model dot summary so this is the sequential model first lstm layer then dropout layer then again lstm layer and dropout layer after that first dense layer and dropout layer and at the end output layer so these are the parameters and these are the output shape and at the end you can see total parameters trainable parameters and non trainable parameters now add one more cell let us revise what we have done till now first we have defined an object this one model after that we have added first lstm layer in the first lstm layer we have specified four parameters number of units activation function return sequences and input shape after first lstm layer we have specified a dropout layer dropout layer is a regularization technique then we have added second lstm layer and dropout layer after that fully connected layer that is the first dense layer and at the end we have specified output layer and this is the summary after building the model we have to compile the model before compiling the model define a variable opt that is for optimizer tf dot keras dot optimizers dot adam here we will specify one parameter this one learning rate learning rate is equal to 0.001 by default learning rate is same here now execute great now compile the model model dot compile here we will specify three parameters optimizer loss function and matrix specify optimizer opt this one after that specify loss function 
लॉस फंक्शन इज इक्वल टू स्पार्स कैटेगरिकल क्रॉस एंट्रोपी ग्रेट एंड एट द एंड स्पेसिफाई मेट्रिक्स एक्यूरेसी let us understand this optimizer will find global minimum here we are using adam optimizer adam optimizer is a stochastic gradient optimizer after that we have specified loss function is equal to sparse categorical cross entropy the loss function will guide this optimizer to find the global minimum and at the end we have specified matrix is equal to accuracy this will help us to calculate the accuracy now execute great let us revise in previous tutorial we have completed these two steps installation setup and data pre processing in this tutorial we have built it the model first we have defined an object then we have added first lstm layer then the second lstm layer fully connected layer and output layer and after that at the end we have compiled the model so this tutorial about building the model and compiling the model ends here i will see you in the next one till then happy learning